134 night. So this is after two hours of training what the to happen after I saw what happened in the first hour. So walking through this, we see that towards uh, 1, 130, we see that the buying entry gets filled. And I'm just looking to pick up that 10, 10 tips uh, to the upside right now. So this is right at 2 Eastern, but this is what happens an hour later. So, and this is where we get all the tag ups with, these, with uh, a lot of these uh, training strategies. Is we saw the we saw the we saw the entry get filled at right around 1:30, but it didn't actually uh, climb as high as I expected, and it didn't really fill that order uh, or that target that I was looking at at 1:35.20. And as a result, what we see happening is, what we see happening is, it actually comes back down and it continues to fall lower, and it actually fills my sell entry at 134.90. So what happens here is, I, I'm still carrying the loss from this, but at the same time, it triggered my lower. And you know what? What we see at the end of uh, the three hours of uh, trading is, it actually reaches that target that I set up for the lower bound, uh, 10 pips lower. So certainly, one, one thing that that's very positive here is. We observed the gains on one, but we're still carrying the loss uh, from that initial position that we opened up uh, at the beginning of the day. So here's kind of how the grid strategy will look potentially. So, and I'll walk and I'll walk through this uh, as we go on. So, here right around 1:30, we saw it fill. We saw our order fill. Then we see it come down and it actually picked up. Um, and another, and that's where we see again over here is our order gets filled, but we're certainly carrying that loss only here. And again, so just fast forwarding through all this, uh, you know, we still have that short position that was triggered here at the second level, which was at 134.80. And we're still carrying that position, and then it finally hit profit, and then we start to book some more profits as we see price actually continue to climb lower. Uh, but ultimately what we see here is this last order that we were looking at does not get filled. So what ends up happening is we see an adverse move in, um, in the market. So essentially what happens is we have this order at 134.60, and that's what's actually the low was at 134.60, so it just got triggered, uh, but it doesn't climb all the way down to 134.50, which would allow us to close out that position. And we see it actually reversing higher, and we continue to carry the wall from here. But on the flip side, one thing we see here is as it moves higher, we finally get to close that initial position that we had from 135.10, and it continues to push higher, and it continues to trigger uh, our, our, our buy entry orders above. Uh, but one thing again is we carry that ball. So in essence, it's really hard, and you know, as one of our guests mentioned, we might just click the stop. Uh, but it's really difficult uh, to determine that when we're really training on such a short-term basis. So again, um, one thing to keep in mind here, and this is just you know, I just did this myself, and you know, one thing we're doing is uh, we're just trying to change the trend. Uh, I mean, the intraday range on the day. So essentially, what we're trying to do here is. You know, we, we sort of, uh, we, we sold at this level, but it didn't really reach, uh, well, it hit the target, and we're trying to uh, sell it again. And certainly, um, you know, and that's where you would have to use your discretion, but typically when you ran these strategies, we actually contributed them in, and that's why, um, you know, it was, uh, it wasn't really placing with stuff. We were just really talking about a lot of stuff. So, yeah, if I scroll back, yeah. Can you see the No, it wasn't that I was hedging. It's essentially, I was taking two different positions. that we were trying to test out. Yeah. 